Hi guys, we are here at the Children's Museum. This is Maki, and I'm here with... Victor with the South Texas Astronomical Society. And Carol Lutzinger, Solar System Ambassador. Today, we are talking about rockets. Specifically, we are going to be using one of NICE uh, Network's kits to do something fun and show you how rockets go up. And we cannot do that without telling the story of Newton's third law. Carol, can you tell us a little bit about Sir Isaac Newton and why he is important? Well, as a matter of fact, I can. Um, he is one of my heroes. And he lived quite a long time ago, long before airplanes were even invented. Much people were traveling by foot or horseback or wagon, and that was it. Um, and he explored and thought a lot, and he came up with his three laws of motion, like he said. And Victor, can you maybe tell us a little bit about how he came up with, the, the third, with those three laws? Sure. Well, it's funny because a lot of you are probably stuck at home right now because of this uh, quarantine and this unfortunate virus. Back in the 1600s, Isaac Newton was in a very similar situation. He was quarantined because of the plague. It's a different disease, but same situation. Now, he was really productive during his quarantine. That's when he came up with his three laws of motion. The third one, which is really important for rockets and making them fly, is uh, Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Without that, we might have never had rockets. Carol, can you tell us how the, what the actual structure of a rocket is? Because this is a really big contraption. It looks kind of complicated, but it's actually not more than three simple parts. Right, and this is a model of the Saturn rocket that took the astronauts to the moon, way back when we were sending astronauts to the moon. It's called the Saturn rocket. And if you get to go to Houston uh, or Florida, uh, in Cape Canaveral, you can see replicas of these rockets that were not flown. Uh, but this Saturn rocket is, is really huge. It's longer than a football field. And if you take this part of the rocket, all of this is filled with fuel. Solid rocket fuel. And this is a second stage of the rocket. This part right here is the only part where the this is the payload. This is where the astronauts were in their little capsule that was attached to the moon lander. This rocket at the top was designed to rescue them if something were going wrong with this rocket because this was like an exploding... Imagine your car filled with gasoline. Uh, that's where you get to go. Well, all of this is used to lift this little bit off the ground. It takes thousands and thousands and thousands of gallons of fuel. So what do we have here with us today? What, what activity are we doing? Well, uh, this is a simple and not nice kit. To just introduce you to the concept, you have seen how little of the rocket is the actual payload where people and things go. And the rest of it is the fuel. So we are trying to emulate a fuel tank. And this is exactly the kind of experimentation that is happening on the Boca Chica SpaceX site, where they're trying to find just the perfect amount of coolant and fuel uh, to successfully propel uh, the rocket into, onto Mars. Before we get started, we're all going to put on our safety bubbles because we're going to be dealing with chemical reactions, and as always, safety comes first. Safety goggles on. We are ready. We're going to take one scoop of the citric acid, one scoop of the baking soda, and we're going to put two drops of water in there, and then we're going to watch what happens. How you know that you need safety goggles. 
watch out, there's going to be a lot of debris and a loud pop. But it's fun. See you in the next video. Bye!